Do you work for a statistical unit of a local, regional, or national government, or for a European, or international body, and produce quantitative surveys on ethnic and migrant minorities integration, or general population surveys with a substantial subsample of ethnic and migrant minority respondents, i.e. at least 200 to 250 minority individuals, then we encourage you to support and enrich the ethnic and migrant minorities survey registry by contributing metadata about your survey through an online form on the registry's backend platform. Please note that you will not be asked to add any microdata or survey findings. Instead, you will only share information about the technical and essential characteristics of the survey. And if you have already made the data available in a repository or archive, you will be able to provide links to those or to any reports or publications you wish to share with other users. In a nutshell, the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry is a free online database and tool for discovering and learning about existing quantitative surveys on the economic, social and political integration and inclusion of ethnic and migrant minorities, EMM for short, across Europe. For each survey captured by the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry, detailed information, which we call metadata, is provided. As users are able to contribute their own new metadata to the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry, the list of surveys captured is continuously growing, making the tool a living census of existing quantitative surveys undertaken with individuals of ethnic and or migrant origin. For instance, when version 1.0 of the registry was launched in December 2021, it was already displaying metadata for more than 1,700 surveys from 34 different countries. But the number of surveys has been growing ever since. Given that the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry not only covers a diverse and sizable number of surveys, but also offers rich metadata on a survey-by-survey -survey basis, a range of stakeholders from different sectors, government units, academia, think tanks, non-governmental organizations, and government levels, local, regional, national, European, international, can leverage this database and tool to search for and learn about surveys that are of interest to them. The main contribution of the registry is making ethnic and migrant minority EMM, surveys findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable fair principles. Hence, by contributing the survey conducted by your organization to the registry, you will be contributing to the open data movement and you will increase both the visibility and reuse of the data produced with taxpayers' money. The registry has been designed as a user-friendly tool and users can easily navigate the surveys and the corresponding metadata offered by the registry through a variety of user-friendly functionalities such as both simple and advanced filtering, sorting and keyword search. These functionalities were also designed so they could be used jointly whenever needed. To contribute to the registry as a data producer, you will need to fill in an application form to request an account that will eventually grant you access to the online backend platform for submitting metadata to the registry. Once this step has been completed, the administrators of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry will be in touch via email using the account shock.project at sciencespo.fr to let you know if an account can be issued and eventually share with you the backend login details for using it as well as all essential training materials for compiling metadata for your survey. Once you have your issued account and are ready to contribute metadata for your survey, you will need to go to the back end of the registry and log in using your issued username and temporary password. You will then be greeted with this welcome page. At this point, you should change your temporary password to a personal one by going to your name in the upper right hand corner and clicking on profile. For a more detailed explanation of how to change your password, please consult video 1 of the video tutorial series, Backend Platform of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry. For contributing metadata for your survey, click on Surveys, which can be found on the left-hand side of the welcome page. You will then be directed to a new page where all the surveys already captured by the registry are listed. On this page, you will find in the upper right-hand side the Create Survey button. You can access the blank online form for contributing metadata by clicking on this button. After you click on the Create Survey button, you'll be directed to a new page called Create Survey. This page in its entirety is the blank online form that you'll need to fill out to produce metadata for your survey. We will now briefly discuss how this online form should be used. 
More detailed guidance can be found in video 5 of the video tutorial series. Backend platform of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry. This form is set up so that you see the status of the record at the very top. Since this form is blank and you're filling it out for the first time, the status is auto set to draft. Below the status information, you'll see that all the variables for which you need to fill out responses or metadata are found on the left hand side. Please note that next to a number of variables, you'll see a small red asterisk. This is because such variables have been deemed essential, meaning that a response other than don't know, information, not available, or not applicable, should be provided whenever possible. Next to each variable, you're provided with a field, which you need to use to fill out your response. For each field, a short help text has been provided to remind you of how to fill it out correctly. As you'll also see, the form is quite extensive and comprehensive, in fact, there are more than 200 variables that are organized into 11 different sections. This means that you will need to reserve some time to properly and fully fill out the form. As the form does not autosave, it's imperative that you save your work at least after completing every section, or every two to three minutes. To save your work, you'll need to scroll to the very bottom of the form and click on this button. Whenever you are fully finished inputting metadata for your survey, save your work one last time, leaving the status as draft. Then take note of the unique ID issued for your survey. You will also need to confirm that your metadata is ready for review by emailing the registry administrators at shock.project at sciencespo.fr with the subject line, record, unique ID of your record, ready for review. For the body of this email, please mention the unique ID of your record and the English name of the survey. Please also specify that you have read the conditions of use of the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry and its metadata, and that you agree to have your contributed metadata attributed with the CC01.0 Universal CC01.0 Public Domain Dedication License, accompanied by the following text, our community norms as well as scientific best practices. Expect that proper credit is given via citation. Please cite both the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry and the data producers when reusing the metadata. After receiving your email, the registry administrators will work with you to review and validate the metadata for your survey, following an established, multi-step, and rigorous quality check process. Whenever the quality check process has been completed for your survey, the registry administrators will obtain your permission to publish the metadata, making it publicly available on the registry. We look forward to collaborating and improving with you the access, usability, dissemination and comparative analysis of survey data on the economic, social and political integration of ethnic and migrant minorities across Europe and beyond.